Okay, welcome to another Becoming a Modern Man. I've um, been waiting to uh, pick up some cryptic commands for a bit. I figured they'd be in Modern Masters, so uh, uh, decided to wait for the uh, price drop, and now they've dropped in price, so I decided to pick some up. And I'm uh, going to have a bit of fun with some control decks, I think. So uh, this is a blue-white control deck I put together. Um, pretty basic stuff, I guess. Restoration Angel, uh, cryptic command, Kitchen Finks to bounce with, playing one of Sun Titan for a bit of fun, one of Omens as well, Snapcaster, and we've got some counters, we've got Manly, which goes with that Cryptic and the uh, Spell Snare, and then some removal in the form of uh, Path and Dismember, also with the Dalkin Shackles for a bit of fun as well, and Sphinx's Revelation for a big draw spell, and uh, here's our sideboard, uh, just threw this together really, a few hate cards. Ratchet Bomb's pretty nice with Sun Titan, and also does deals well with uh, tokens and other uh, decks with low curve. Got another uh, Wrath Effect here. Uh, got some colours in the uh, sideboard, Supreme Verdict. Uh, Detention Sphere as well, we're running one of those in the main. Again, some more removal, and uh, got a few more counters and uh, mind sensors. So uh, that was just a quick deck tech. I don't usually do deck techs, but I often forget to uh, Put the deck in the description, so I figured I'd show it here in all its glory. So uh, let's go on to our first match. I uh, can't quite remember who we're up against here. Nope, it's a little bit glitchy on the uh, replays, it seems. Rather annoyingly, but uh, this is our opener. So we've got Colnade, we've got Mr. Rainforest, Tectonic Edge. Uh, Cryptic Command, Restoration Angel, Wall of Omens, and a Man League. I think that's a keep. Seems decent. Again, not sure what we're up against right at the moment. One off and it's proving to drum. In the case we're playing against the if, uh, Affinity, if I can say that. Uh, so, uh, not quite sure what to think here. Probably goes for a Ravager. Definitely a Man League that. Ravager is uh, pretty problematic. So I'm happy to get rid of that, and our opponents have a follow-up play, so that's always good. Uh, sadly, we're a bit stuck for things to do. All of omens. Sadly, uh, the curve is quite high in this deck. Perhaps should uh, amend that, maybe. I would run Vendillion Vind Click, but I don't actually. I haven't picked those up yet. I'm hoping to pick up a, uh, at least a couple, because uh, their price has fallen quite a lot as well recently, thanks to Modern Masters. Which is definitely a good thing. Uh, so my front plays a cranial plating, perhaps another ornithopter. And uh, got a 5 2 there. Um, not quite sure what I do here. Obviously, we could do uh, detention sphere away the ornithopters. I'd much rather get rid of the cranial plating. That's another potential, but I think I just leave it. We can potentially run out of Restoration Angel and uh, draw another card with the Swarm of Omens. My opponent plays the cranial plating. Uh, I decided to cryptic it here and uh, bounce the other cranial plating. So you can't replay it, I don't think. No. Oh, we can actually with the spring leaf drum. It would have been much better to just use the detention sphere to get rid of both cranial platings, I think. Would have taken a little bit of a hit, but I think it would have been worth it. I'm not sure that was the best of plays. But I think I'm going to be end up uh, using the detention sphere to get rid of this cranial plating anyway. Uh, not this turn though. Our opponent plays an Arlothopter. Which means detention sphere would be quite fun with those, but uh, I don't think it is what we want to do since our cranial plating is the real threat. So our opponent attacks. I'm going to pass the Arlothopter, the big Arlothopter. Again, maybe a questionable play. But uh, sets him back. Buys us some time. It's quite a clever play. Uh, you can actually attach Cradle Playing at instant speed if you played Double Black, which you managed to produce with the uh, Springly Drum. And uh, you can actually hit me here for a 6. And he's going to activate his Blink Moth to make it 7, I think. So that's why I attacked with that uh, 0 2 on a Thopter. Didn't actually see that play coming, so I uh, thought that was quite impressive. And uh, I think end of turn I'm going to play. Oh, this is my turn. Uh, I'm going to tension sphere away the cranial plating. Just leaving with a, a lot of zero twos. Drops an extra champion. 
unfortunately we take quite a lot of damage so uh, each champion is a bit of a threat here seems that we can't really block it the opponent just attacks in with a uh, moth, a blink moth nexus but I'm going to pass that as uh, I like to preserve my life total here Oh, it's for two. Can't block that thanks to the uh, Edge Champion having uh, four roll colours. He has another Edge Champion, which is definitely going to be a problem. It's going to be taking four each turn, and we've only got eight life as it is. Uh, going to be able to run out our Restoration Angel here. Oh, and we are going to be able to draw a card. Perhaps we should have uh, got more aggressive earlier. And uh, paying the price for that now, because we're in a rather precarious position. In fact, with the Restoration Angel, he's going to block. And uh, function we drew a kitchen thinks, which is going to keep our life total uh, a little bit healthier. We take five there, which is a little unfortunate. We attack back, knowing that we've got restoration back, it, restoration angel uh, backup. So hopefully, if he attacks with everything, we can uh, take out the vault scourge and we can gain a bit of life off the kitchen thinks. So we're not dead here. Probably doesn't have anything, which I don't think he does. So we go back to seven, down to three, draw cryptic command, which is uh, pretty much the best thing we could have drawn here. We can tap down his team next turn, and I think that might be able to let us win. Uh, let's see, we're going to tap for nine here, putting him down to seven. On his combat, we're going to tap down his team and draw a card. Friday doesn't have anything that should be enough. Uh, he plays an ink moth, a uh, ink moth nexus, which I blow up with my uh, tech edge, and uh, just going to activate Colmade and attack all in. So managed to steal a win under my opponent's nose there, which was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, pretty close one, but uh, just managed to sniff out. Let's go on to game two. We have game two, uh, brought in the ratchet bombs. Thought they might be useful. Also, uh, cow magic seems a little bit slow against affinity, so uh, tried to take as much of that out as uh, seemed necessary. My opponent has like a ridiculous uh, zero mana cost uh, start, which is fantastic because we can just play the ratchet bomb and uh, crack it to uh, kill off all these guys. Unfortunately we can't get the Ink Moth next as soon as it's a non-land and uh, my opponent realises this and activates the Ink Moth. So uh, yeah, Steel Overseer is going to be a problem, especially since we haven't got any removal in hand. But we are going to be able to blow up all of his uh, zero cost dudes, which is uh, quite helpful. We draw Supreme Verdict, which is nice. Uh, but if Ink Moth is coming to get us, then perhaps not good enough. We play the Kitchen of Pinks here. We play another Ink Moth. He's going to attack for 3 here. It's the 5 in effect. And uh, yeah, we're definitely in a bad way here. We're going to attack for 3 and uh, play the Supreme Verdict just to get rid of his Overseer. Which is definitely not the ideal play. Unfortunately, he doesn't draw another land, so we're not just dead here. And uh, we go to 8 Poison. But uh, we draw a Colonnade and. Uh, not enough for us to win here, so uh, sadly we got poisoned to death. So on to game three. Oop. I think our opener was like really slow. I think it had it quickly disappeared there, so uh, might be able to stop the video and see. I think it was a couple of restoration angels and a uh, sphinx's revelation, which just seemed too slow to me to uh, work. This is at least slightly better. I'm not sure how much Wall of Omens is going to be able to block. Seems though he's got quite a lot of flies and evasive creatures, but I'm willing to run with this on the play. Got some Memnite, Ink Moth, into a Signal Pest, and the Springly Drum. I'm going to play out my Wall of Omens. Draw a card, Sphinx's Revelation. Not ideal. To be honest, he manages to activate his uh, so he can uh, cast a forecast 
and uh, then please another signal passed. Uh, there's an argument for keeping it back, seems I'm probably going to verdict sometime soon, but uh, it will live through a verdict, so I think it's fine playing it out here. So the Xbox in uh, Ink Moth and uses Blink Moth's second ability to pump it up. Uh, it can pump up uh, Blink Moth creatures, which is a very weird ability, which only really uh, with uh, Ink Moth being printed, really. Though I suppose there are limited occasions where that might apply. So he hits us for four poison, which is not good for us. I'm not going to be able to hit him with And I think we're going to verdict here, just to get rid of the signal pests, which are pumping up his Ink Moth. And uh, we get to keep our things, which is nice. But it's probably going to trade with the Memnite. So, you can hit us for two here. And we cast a thought cast. And another signal pest. So we're going to add six, which is not good for us. We're just attacking for two down to fourteen. And pump the uh, Nexus. And again, and now we attack with a signal pest, which means that we're uh, actually dead here for that. Uh, we've got cryptic command, so we're going to try and bounce the ink moth, but I believe he has an answer. That's the end of us. Yeah, unfortunately, he has the spell pierce, and uh, that is game, as we're going to die of poison. So, uh, yeah, uh, decent matchup. A little bit difficult to deal with Affinity, they're obviously very fast and uh, the version of this deck that I'm playing is quite slow. We definitely uh, change some things up to make it make us have a uh, better matchup. We don't have a particularly good sideboard against Affinity either, so if I was expecting Affinity I think I would change quite a few things about the deck, but I uh, managed to get there in game one. Uh, unfortunately Poison got us and uh, we lost. But a uh, good game. And if I can find it.